and welcome to Len's Kitchen. Um, I'll be making mushroom and mozzarella burgers uh, today. Vegetarian dish. So all you, what you need, main ingredients, mushrooms, frying with onions. Cook them properly this time. I always say don't overcook mushrooms, but they've got to be cooked uh, well for, for burgers. The only reason is if you don't cook mushrooms, you could use, if you might think, oh, why, why don't we use those raw mushrooms? Um, well, you could be doing, you, but it's not going to work well, actually, if you, you can try, and obviously you're welcome to try things, but mushrooms have got loads and loads of water in them, so when you, if you just blended mushrooms and put them in burgers, you'd have burgers falling apart, water will be coming out, it's just not going to work. So fry them well so all the liquid evaporates. And then you've got, I've got, um, you'll be using mushrooms and onions which you fried previously. Uh, you'll be using egg just to uh, make the mixture uh, set together. And breadcrumbs or in my case, I'm using Scandinavian brand crisp bread, and they're packets like that. Uh, it's it's crisp bread made 100% out of bran brands, wheat brands. Quite nasty stuff, actually. Um, I've tried to eat it uh, instead of uh, bread, but it's just not <laughs> edible. It tastes horrendous. So the only way you could use brands, if you've got wheat wheat brands, you could use uh, your regular breadcrumbs. You could use uh, cornflakes, anything to make because it will be quite runny once you add egg. So you've got something just to um, so it sets together um, and uh, glues together. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crush them into into my frying pan that's finished cooking now so if I move that here and you just crush it in you could add it straight to blender but I just want whatever's left out you know all the remaining liquid I wanted to just soak it in Give it a mix, it's going to soak a little bit in. I only, I bought, <laughs> funny thing about that, I bought quite a few packets because um, I uh, I heard it was going to be so amazing. And it is, I mean, it, ingredients wise, it's, uh, it is amazing. It's unprocessed wheat bran, that's a tiny bit of rye flour and salt. So. It's, you'd think amazing that that would be you know really good and healthy for you <laughs> which which it is but um, taste is not I'm afraid and so I've I bought quite a few packs and I've been using them for for purposes like that but uh, you if you have to have brands or breadcrumbs would be equally good equal so opening my processor now and make sure it's locked so you add your mushrooms in mushrooms with onions and with uh, I added salt and pepper to mushrooms when they were frying as well as it's it's better to add uh, salt and pepper to foods foods that are in the process of cooking. Right, so I've got I've got this here in my food processor, as you can see. And now we're adding egg. One small egg as it's uh, just grab paper towel. As it's not, uh, it's not uh, massive portions. Another thing you can add, and that's again just for 
for health uh, reasons is um, chia chia seed sachet and it's only I've got only like the chia uh, seed shots and it's uh, just small thing your one of portions I add it as well because it's really it's really healthy and then you're thinking mozzarella you could try putting mozzarella inside and blend it with everything but I personally think it would be better to stuff them burgers with mozzarella so let me just put it on and whiz So it's um, that's how it looks like. Uh, just to warn you straight away, uh, it doesn't look attractive. It looks nasty. All um, mushroom burgers do. So nothing, nothing exciting about them when they are in the process of making. But kind of ignore that. So. Put everything in in my mixing bowl. Only small one because I haven't got much much of the mixture. And that was whole whole um, quite you know quite quite big packet of mushrooms. But when you cook them to death, that's how much you get. So uh, if you're thinking of cooking it for uh, friends coming over. One packet is not going to be enough. Right, so you can, as you can see, the mixture is not uh, as thick as I would like it to be. So, uh, you can add breadcrumbs, you can add more of your crisp bread, which I'm not going to do because I've already taken it out from the, from the food processor. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, put some wholemeal organic rye flour I think it still will be quite sticky but it's going to nicely set when it's cooked and obviously I forgot to mention it's um, another ingredient completely forgot can't believe that another ingredient which you put put in there it's rice and I've got some cooked rice and I, ge I add two big it's actually not, it's serving spoons, so two hip uh, serving spoons of rice and actually mix it now, see see how it's gonna look now minority flour after all I can't believe I forgot the rice it was one of the main ingredients in it never mind So it's definitely, definitely better. And I would say, I would say it's, it might be all right. You could, another thing you could be adding, optional, uh, as option is some beans and that will that will glue everything nicely beans um, or actually you can add some baked beans from the from the tin which I've tried before which I could use it now actually but um, could use it now I'm not at it now I'm gonna quickly blend a little bit of uh, of them in a in the oven I know it's a crazy combination, you think, but it's uh, beans are really good as a, to make vegetarian uh, burgers. Beans is the way to go. So I've got some some baked beans 
from the, which I had in the in the fridge. So not that much because don't forget you, your portions are not not that big in here. So just two tablespoons of them. Oh, wouldn't go far without plates. It is taking ages, but that's how much it takes. So now you don't have to add them. You don't have to add beans at all. I'm actually gonna only add one tablespoon. Only because I really haven't got much of uh, of my mix in a bowl but that's gonna that's gonna be oh another thing you could add is um, chickpea flour and that's good as well if you don't want to use anything containing gluten because so many people nowadays don't put gluten so right so our not exciting mixture looks like that nothing special actually um, so now I've got a piece of tin foil which I'm gonna uh, lay my my burgers on onto first yes you handle it in your hand and mozzarella needs to be actually them slices are not that big you put it in If anything, I probably got too much mozzarella for what I for what I made. And you you lay your burger, so it's it's holding together. And then once it's cooked, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. So I probably got too much, like I said. So another thing I could do is just put a little bit of mozzarella on top as well. As this is your meal, you don't have to. Eat it with any any extra carbs. It's you can allow yourself a few slices of mozzarella. Really? You could make them in the um, shape of meatballs as well, make sure it's covered up in shape of meatballs but then you will have to uh, make mozzarella cubes so I'm gonna have three three burgers which is more than enough for, for lunch for me there we go fold it in so, like I say, the healthy, healthy foods. Unfortunately, um, the majority of times they don't actually look. Um, oh. Just a second. That was the timing. I got someone knocking to the door. So, welcome back. Yeah, it was only postman bringing, bringing letters and post. So. Uh, Right, let's go back to it. Um, where's my burger? So we hide mozzarella, 
like with the other ones. So three nice bagels, and I, I don't put them in a the main oven because it's only so little of them. I put them in my halogen oven, but uh, I will, because I've got already this mozzarella here, I will cover them up with few slices on top as well. There it is, and now I lift it off, off the table and just put it in a halogen oven. And they'll be cooking well, until they uh, they harden up a little bit, until they set a bit more. Um, I would say I would say 10 to 15 minutes because everything is cooked in them anyway, so it's just a matter of browning them, making them crisp if you want, and so they everything sets together. So um, I'll be measuring time and I guys tell you how how much time it will it needed at the end and show you the end result. See you in a minute. So welcome back. This is our this is our uh, mushroom and rice burger ready on a plate with mozzarella um, crisped on top as well. Uh, with a trio of sauces, you can add sauces of your choices uh, uh, presented uh, whatever however you you like it well I hope you like it hope you hope you enjoy it after you cook it as well thanks for watching give me give me thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel if you like my uh, my videos and see you next time bye